Start this lesson by saying, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the left out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is King Jesse back with another Bible lesson. Uh, we're going to go into um, the so-called white people, uh, the fake Jews that are over there in the land of Israel, capping, faking to be um, the people of the Bible, the real Jews. And we're going to go into, uh, we're going to go and prove it through the scriptures that these people are the devil that the Bible speaks of. So, um, before we start this lesson, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The word Kakadas is the Holy Spirit, and Bahashem means in the name, and that's all in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. Uh, you so called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites of the Bible. Uh, the Lord is a so called black man from the tribe of Judah. Okay, and you so called white people, like we're going to get into in this lesson, you are the biblical Edomites. Uh, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You are the double that the Bible speaks of, and let's prove it. The book of Genesis, chapter 36, verses 9. This is the first book of the Bible. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. And Mount Seir is located in what? Europe, where do the so-called white people descend from? Europe. Let's keep continue on. These are the names of Esau's son. Alphaz the son of Adad, wife of Esau, Raul, the son of Bashamath, and the wife of Esau, and the sons of whatever whatever their names are, whatever. And Tema was concubine to Alphaz, Esau's son, and she bore to him Alphaz, Amalek. Amalek. That's who them fake Jews over there are, Amalek. These were the sons of Adol, Esau's wife. And now let's get into Amalek. Who was Amalek? Let's see. Do I got it in here? Let's see if I can find it. Oh, no. No, I didn't in my notes. So let's go. To Google and search. Who was Amalek? Okay. Yep. The spirit just jumped on me. There it is. And this is the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 16. For he said, Behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So Amalek is a, a, a people that's on this place, on this planet right now that the Lord has sworn to have war with from generation to generation. That means forever. And these people are not done away with. They are still here on the planet Earth pretending to be somebody. And those are those fake Jews that's over there. Because that's why they're in constant battle with the, uh, what do they call them, Palestinians and all that. That is just the Lord bringing uh, war against them from generation to generation. That war has been going on forever, right? Yeah, ever since uh, that state was set up. And, um, and like the Lord said, the Lord said he will bring the people of Israel back into their land. But they were brought back into that land by some document that they signed. And, um, and like the, one of the princes of Egypt has said over there that that the Jews left black and came back white. So we know that them people are faking over there. They're capping. And uh, let's go ahead and get it. Revelations 2, chapter 9, verse 9. Right. Go back. Um, let's see. Yep, Revelation 2, verses 9. Revelations 2 and I, I know thy works in tribulations and poverty. This is uh, the Lord talking to the Israelites. And I know thy works in tribulations and poverty. So he's talking to the Israelites. The, uh, so the Israelites is going to be going through great tribulation, and they're going to be decimated in poverty. That doesn't sound like them Jews to me. Them Jews own record labels and all types of shit, own damn near everything. And I know the blasphemy of them that say that they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. So those 
Oh, the fake Jews. Now let's go ahead and get Revelations 3, verses 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say that they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. So the Lord says he's going to make these fake Jews come and worship you before your feet. Now let's go ahead and over to Job 9 and 24. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the wicked is going to be in control of the whole earth. Sounds like the Jews to me. They own record labels, sports franchises. They own damn near everything. Got Kyrie on. Got Kyrie in front of the whole world looking stupid. Got Kanye West and the whole world apologizing to the motherfuckers. For what? For what? For saying the truth. This earth, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Check this out. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Who is the judges? The judge is Yahweh Shai. The judge is the disciples. And what has and who covered their faces? It was the so called white man. If you look at any movie right now about uh the disciples or who they call Jesus Christ, they portray him as a white person. And so the the earth is gonna get be given into the hands of a wicked nation that's gonna cover the faces of the judges. If not, where and who is he? It, it's plain and obvious. Is the so-called white man. But yeah, let's go back to um, proving our point. Bible notes. Disregard that. <laughs> All right. Okay. And let's prove Esau, the Edomite, uh, you so-called white people are the Edomites. Let's prove it. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verses 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, con wife conceived. So um, his wife couldn't have babies at first. So um, um, Isaac prayed, like, can my wife, um, Lord, can you make it to where my wife can have kids? And the Lord was like, okay. And the children struggled together with him, but she had twin, she had twin babies. And she said, if it be so, why am I this? So the, uh, the twin babies that are in her womb are fighting each other inside the womb. And she's asking the Lord, why am I, Why is it like this? And she, and she went to inquire of the Lord. So she asked the Lord, like, why is it like this? And this is what the Lord said to her. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Two men or people shall be separated from thy vows. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the Lord has said, it's two different people in your nation. I mean, in your womb right now, it's two different types of uh, people. And those two types of people are who are the so-called blacks and the so-called whites. Are in the womb, two men are people, two different types of people shall be separated from thy vows. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So who's stronger, the so-called black person? We're stronger than the so-called white man. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the um the oldest is going to actually have to serve the younger. You know, back in those days, the um the uh, the el and the elder shall serve the younger. The, back in those days, the elder was like was the one that took over once the king died. But the Lord said it's going to be different this time. The youngest is going to actually take over. Now check this out. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So the first one that comes out is going to have to serve the second one. So when the first one came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So when, what, to, what particular nation of people, when they're born on this planet, comes out red? When you smack Donald Trump or any so-called white person in the face, what color do they turn red? Are they actually white? No, if they put a white t-shirt on, they are not white. They blood show through through their skin. They are actually red. See, they came up with that term black and white during slavery. They were never called white people until about 50 years ago and got the whole world fooled. 
And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau here. But check that out. They didn't even describe Jacob and what he looked like because Jacob looked like everybody else that was on that planet at that time. He was a dark, he was dark skinned. And if you go into your science, and if you go into your um, history book, you'll you'll know that everybody um, that were born in those days were dark skinned. That the so-called white man is an anomaly on this planet. And he's new to this planet. And the same with Jacob and Isaac was three score years when she bore when she bared them. So, and let's see, let's see if I got any more. Include that these so-called white people. That what the Bible speaks of. You so-called black Hispanics and uh, Native American Indians. You are the Israelites. The book of James, chapter 2, verses 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to them that love him? So the Lord has chosen the poor. So ain't no rich man. And who is the poor? You so-called Israelites. Give me a second. I got a lot of notes here, more than I thought I had. These are all the scriptures about um, the Lord's people having black skin, but we'll go into that because we just want to go into the spiritual matter, not the carnal. This is what's going on right now, the book of Isaiah, chapter 25 and 7. And he will destroy in the mountains the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread all over all nations. He, the Lord is going to get rid of that veil, that lie that you are so-called black, that you're white, that you're Chinese, or any of that shit. All that shit was made up. And that's what the Lord is doing right now. He's, he's un veil and everything he's bringing out the truth okay uh let's just go into the book of obadiah plain as keep it plain and simple i ain't got no more notes but uh make a habakkuk Uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1. The bird in which Habakkuk, the prophet, did see. So the Lord uh, uh, gave um, Habakkuk a vision. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, verse number 2. O Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. How long shall I cry, and thou will not hear, even crying to the the of violence and thou will not save and that's what we're doing right now sighing and crying for the abomination that's done in the midst thereof right why thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grief for spoiling and violence are before me and they that are raised up strife and contention 
Therefore the law is slack, and judgment does never go forth. For the wicked does compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeds. So the uh, Habakkuk cool looks around and saying, like, man, all these evil people are winning, just like we say right now, right? Uh, Behold, ye among the heathens, in regard, wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which you will not believe, though it be told you. For lo, and this, uh, this is the point right here, for lo, I raise up the Chaldeans. Now, who are the Chaldeans? That bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breath of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. Sounds, uh, sounds very familiar to you so-called white people, right? That's exactly what you did. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of them. So, basically, before they even come, everybody already know about them. So, when they talk about, oh, they're coming to the rescue, oh, they're going to uh, war on terrorists, going to Iraq, everybody know, like, God damn, they're coming over here to steal every fucking damn thing from us. They ain't coming to help nobody. So that's why when they go over there, them people teach, uh, treat them like that. Verse number eight, their horses also swifter than the leopards and more fierce than the evening wolves. Their horsemen shall spread themselves. So the leopards is going into that military, that military might. And, um, so they got the best military, right? And that's, that's what the United States always says. And their horsemen shall come from afar. And I think that's what they do with um, their nuclear submarines and all that type on they um and all those uh nuclear uh whatever them courier boats that they have, they shall fly as the eagle that has to, that hasten to eat. Yep, that's why you got the American bald eagle, right? The Lord is talking about these so called Americans, the Chaldeans. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall suit up as the east wind, and they shall gather the captivity as the sand. And that's what they do, go put people into slavery, captivity. Just gathering up all people, putting them into slavery. Everywhere these so-called white people go is murder, uh, rape, and murder, rape, kill, basically. They just go, they're the devil. They shall scoff at the kings, and princes shall be scorned unto them. So they don't listen to nobody. They go into anybody country, doesn't matter. Anybody try to go into their country, they bitch moan and complain. They shall derive every stronghold, they, they shall heap dust and take it. They got a, um, <clears throat> what do they call, embassies in damn near all these fucking countries and shit. Verse okay, let's see. This whole book of Habakkuk is about you so-called white people being the devil. Now let's go to Obadiah and get a few out of there. <clears throat> Let me start at chapter 1. And these are really small books right here. The vision of Obadiah. Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Shem concerning Edom. The Edomites, right? So-called white people, Esau, the Edomites. That's who you are descend from, right? We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and an ambassador is sent among the heathens. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathens. Thou art greatly despised. Everybody hates the United States of America. Look on the news, every fucking body. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. And these are some prideful motherfuckers here in the United States of America. They that dwell in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, thou said in this heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Check out that verse right there where it says, they that dwell in the clefts of the rocks. Ain't that where these so-called white people descended from? They cavemen out of the um, caves of um, the Caucasus Mountains out in um, Europe, whose habitation is high. That, that's going into that, um, what is that, that space program, the international space stations and all that shit. Who said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Verse number four. Look, look, here we go again. Thou shalt exalt thyself as the evil. And then you turn that dollar, you pull out a dollar bill. What is on there? An American bald eagle, right? Proving that this is the United States of America that he's talking about, right? 
and they shall set their nests among the stars. That's the international space stations, the satellites they throwing up into space, right? Thence will I bring thee down, says the Lord. If these came to thee and robbers by night, would they have not stolen till they had enough? If the grasshop grass, if if the grape gatherers came to thee, would thou not leave some grapes? That's just the Lord basically saying, these, when these motherfuckers come and steal, they take everything and they don't leave nothing behind. They don't even, they just take everything. Everything. They, when they go in the refrigerator, they clean the bitch out. Don't leave a, a stick of butter, uh, nothing. A piece of candy they take, they steal everything. That's what the Lord basically saying with that verse. Verse number uh, six. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought out? See, um, and it's um, how are the things of Esau searched out? And that's going into his Illuminati and all that other shit being searched out, and all that all that secret societies that this motherfucker had. This shit has been secret for over thousands of years, and now all of a sudden a crackhead down the street knows about the Illuminati. <clears throat> all his hidden things are searched out. <clears throat> Verse number seven: All the men of thy confederacy have have brought thee even to the borders. The men that were at peace with thee had deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat the bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. So basically, everybody's turning on the United States of America. All their um, allies are becoming enemies, basically. Verse number eight. Shall I not, in the, and that's going to go, that's including NATO as well. And the EU, all of them is going to turn on the United States of America. Uh, verse number eight: Shall I not in that day say, The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shall I even destroy the wise men of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? That's why everybody looking at these people saying, Man, you people are lying, motherfuckers, man. All your wise men, y'all talk about y'all with this and y'all lying. And there's great confusion here right now. Verse number nine, and thy mighty men of Teman shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So the Lord said, everybody that comes or descends from Esau, the Edomites, will be cut off by slaughter. And this is the reason why. Verse number 10, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee because of all the violence that you so-called white people committed against the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, which are your actually blood brother. We're actually blood brothers with the so-called white man. And they still pursue us and try to kill us like they don't even fucking know us. So that's why the Lord said he got to destroy all of them from, from the Mount of Esau. Anybody that descends from the so-called white man, Esau, will be cut off by slaughter because they got just a uh, natural hate for us. And thou shalt be cut off forever. So that's the Lord. And sh when it says shame shall cover thee, that goes into, yeah, they talk about how they discovered the United States of America. But they had to kill over 100 million people to do it. So that's that shame that's going to cover them. In verse number 11. And that day thou stood up on the other side, and in the day of the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates. And cast lots upon Jerusalem, even the waste as one of them. We're going into casting lots for our people. But, um, let's see. Anything else? Verse number 15. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh shall near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. So basically, um, anything that y'all done to us is going to be done to you. That's why it says in the book of Revelation, um, those who took, uh, those who lead into captivity must go into captivity. Who So captivity is slavery. So if you let anybody into slavery, you have to go into slavery. So to the so-called white man, woman, and child lead the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians into slavery, yeah, then they have to go into slavery. If they kill the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians with the sword, yeah, then they shall be killed with the sword. And this is the um, precept for that. Obadiah chapter 1 and 15. For day, for the day of the Lord is near upon all heathens. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. 
Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. So if you treated us nice, guess what? You're going to get treated nice. If you killed us and threw us the alligators, guess what? Your reward shall return upon thy head. We're going to kill your ass and throw you the alligator. That's righteousness. That's righteousness. Verse number 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathens drink continuously. Ye shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they have not been. And what are they going to drink? They, they're they going to drink the cup of the Lord ignitation, right? That he talks about. Let's get that. The cup of the Lord ignitation. And that's righteous anger. I don't think I can spell ignitation, though. Uh, let's get it in Google. And that's basically uh, what I was just reading. Y'all going, everything y'all did to us, and that's slavery right there. Something like that. There we go. Revelation 14 and 10. This is the cup that all the heathens going to have to drink out. Revelation 14 and 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. That cup is the wine and wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture. So it ain't going to be, this is going to be pure fucking hell put on y'all. With no, without no remorse. So you know how you drink a drink and then you might cut it because it's too strong. The Lord said, no, he ain't cutting this. Y'all going to have to fill the full brunt of this motherfucker. Which is poured out with our mixture into the cup of his invitation. That means righteous anger. And he shall torment with fire and brimstones in the presence of his holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And that's what's going And that's the cup y'all going to have to drink from. Let's go back to Obadiah and finish this on out. It should be pretty much done. Okay. Okay. Okay, and this goes to you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We're going to turn my attention to y'all. But And you are Mount Zion, by the way. But upon Mount Zion, you so-called black Hispanics and Native American Indians, shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob, you so-called black Hispanics and Native American Indians, shall possess their possessions. So we get everything. We're going to take everything from these motherfuckers, heathens out here. Just like they did to us, right? Yep, just like they did to us during the transatlantic slave trade, right? Going back to verse number... um, uh, 15 what is done to us what was done to um us has to be done to them right verse number 18 and then the house of jacob shall be fire and the house of joseph a flame and the house of esau the so-called blacks i mean so-called white people for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and shall not be any remaining of the house of esau for the lord has spoken it so, the so-called Black Hispanics and Native American Indians, they're gonna, they're gonna utterly destroy the so-called white man, and it's not gonna be none left, like they were like set up in the earlier one. But uh, my baby's coming, so go ahead and end the lesson with that one. Call all y'all, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Hopefully, this lesson was edified, and um. We, so-called black, Spanish, Native American Indians, you are the Israelites. It's time to repent in the name of Yahweh Shah. Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keep his commandments to the best of your ability. A just man falls seven times, but, uh, but gets back up. So, uh, hopefully, it's time to look at it fine. And we out with another lesson.